Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make high altitudes chocolate chip cookies. This recipe has been my mom's favorite for 35 plus years, and it's still her favorite to this day. And today I am turning it into a high altitude recipe for any of you who live at a high altitude. I've already showed how to make a high altitude chocolate cake and high altitude brownies. And today I'm doing high altitude chocolate chip cookies. Let's get started. First you need to preheat the oven. Usually you would bake these at 375 degrees, but for a high altitude, turn the temperature up to 400 degrees. Turning up the oven temperature makes them bake and set faster so they don't overexpand or spread out too much. I'm going to be doubling this recipe because my family loves these cookies so much, but the measurements I'm giving you is for a single recipe. In a medium mixing bowl, add in the flour, add an extra tablespoon if you live around 3,500 feet above sea level, and add another tablespoon for every additional 1,500 feet. This adds more protein to the cookies and gives them better structure. Add in the baking soda. Depending on the elevation of where you live, you'll need to adjust that accordingly, and here are the measurements for that. And add in the salt. Whisk them until combined. And set it aside for now. Then in the bowl of a stand mixer, or you can use an electric hand mixer if you don't have a stand mixer. Add in the butter flavored shortening, or you can use regular shortening, or you can even use half butter and half shortening. We're using shortening instead of butter because it has a higher melting point which keeps them from spreading too much in the oven, and it also helps them rise up taller and helps hold their shape better. Measure out the brown sugar and remove one tablespoon for every cup of sugar in the recipe. So for this one, remove one and a quarter tablespoons. And just so you guys know, a quarter tablespoon is three quarters of a teaspoon. Add it into the bowl. Add in the milk and vanilla extract and cream them on medium-high speed for a couple minutes until the mixture is light, pale, and fluffy. Then add in the egg. I'm adding a second egg since I'm doubling the recipe. Then we need to add extra liquid so they don't come out dry from the high altitude and the higher oven temperature. And just like I said in my other high altitude recipes, adding extra egg is the best thing because it doesn't evaporate as easily as other liquids. So if you're somewhere around 3,000 feet, add in an extra 1-2 to two tablespoons of liquid, and add in another half a tablespoon for every additional 1,000 feet. So for the extra liquid, I'm adding in extra egg yolks and a little extra milk. Then beat them until well combined. Then add in the dry ingredients and chocolate chips and mix them in gently just until combined. Then finish it by hand to combine all the ingredients, making sure you scrape all the way down to the bottom of the bowl so the flour is mixed all throughout the dough. Then scoop one to two tablespoons of cookie dough out onto a sheet pan spacing them out at least one and a half inches apart to give them room to spread. Then bake them in the oven for about 8 to 12 minutes until they're just starting to lightly brown around the edges. 
Bake them for less time if you like more soft and chewy cookies, and bake them for more time if you like crisp cookies. Your timing can vary, so watch them carefully. So start with 8 minutes, and if they're not ready, bake them for another 1 minute at a time until they're cooked to your liking. They do bake very quickly, so 1 extra minute will make a big difference. And I like to prep the next batch while one batch is in the oven, so when they're done baking, I can immediately put the next batch into the oven. You can bake two pans at once, you just have to rotate the pans and switch racks halfway through so they bake evenly. When they're done, remove them from the oven and let them cool on the pan for two minutes. Then transfer them to a cooling rack and let them cool a little longer. And you can serve them still warm if you like. Then just keep going until all the cookie dough is used up. And that's how to make high altitudes chocolate chip cookies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.